Hi guys, today on a review we have a Canon EOS 7D Mark II digital camera. This is currently the best Canon camera with uh, so-called APS-CC size sensor. Uh, basically this is the best Canon camera which is not full frame. The previous model Canon EOS 7D was on the market for full 5 years, since 2009. And that alone tells you how good that camera was and uh, it was able to, Canon was able to sell it even today. So basically this camera was full winner. The differences between that one and the new Mark II are on the first glance are not that big. Uh, the sensor has now 20 megapixels, before it had 18, so only 2 megapixel bump. Uh, autofocus has more focus points, video can shoot now at 60 frames per second, buffer is bigger and also it can shoot a little bit more uh, frames per second, uh, now it is 10 before it was 8. On paper that doesn't look very promising, but uh, when I started using it in real life I realized that everything that was enhanced on the 7D Mark II uh, really matters. So Canon didn't just enhance uh, features uh, for the sake of enhancing, uh, everything that was perfected uh, really really uh, pays off in real life, I you can feel it in uh, real life use. The build quality is on top level. Uh, the chassis is for magnesium alloy and all outside materials are really of high quality. Plastic is really good and the camera is covered with uh, soft and non-slippery rubber. Uh, the grip shape is absolutely perfect. You can hold it uh, with uh, only one hand and carry it around the whole day and you will not get hand fatigue. Uh, of course that depends what lens you have, but uh, with uh, for example some prime lens or with this kit 18-135 to there is no problem holding it with only one hand. All the buttons on the camera are almost identical to previous 7D model and also almost identical to 5D Mark II. So if you already have one of these cameras you will uh, instantly feel at home with 7D Mark II. On the back side you can see LCD monitor which has 3 inches diagonal and 1 million dots. Viewing quality is really good, it is perfectly sharp and has perfect viewing angles. It is not tiltable and it doesn't have touch capability. Canon thinks such things uh, do not belong on professional level DSLR camera, but we think otherwise. It is better to have something than not to have it. Optical viewfinder is quite big and very bright, but not uh, as found on full frame models like 6D and 5D Mark III. The battery is a lithium unit and it is strong enough for around 6 or 700 shots from a single charge. That's ok, but for this class of camera I would expect it to last around 1000 shots. All the connectors are on the left side. Here you can see microphone input for video recording, headphone connector for uh, audio monitoring, flash connector, remote control, USB 3.0 connector and also mini HDMI output. This camera has also built-in GPS receiver, but there is no Wi-Fi connectivity, which is very strange for 2050 cameras, today even my fridge has wireless connectivity built-in. On the right side you can see memory card slot, this camera supports two memory cards at once, uh, SD memory card and also compact flash. You can use them for backup, uh, the same uh, files are written on the both cards, or you can use them in series, after one is filled, the other one kicks in. Menu system is almost identical uh, like on any other Canon DSLRs. It is very easy to understand and it is color coded, so you won't have problem using it. The last part of the menu system, the green one, can be pre-programmed. You can select uh, 5 tabs and uh, 5 settings in each tab, that's 30 options which you use very often. This is very nice. Continue shooting is superb on this camera, I can fire 10 shots per second. But what is even more better is the size of the buffer. Uh, there is uh, quite a few cameras today, most of them mirrorless, which can shoot 10 frames per second and cost half what you need to pay for 7D Mark II. But the problem is with mirrorless, with most of the, those mirrorless cameras, you can shoot maybe 15, 20, 25 frames and the buffer fills in. On 7D Mark II this looks like this. There's no end to this. 
If I kept pressing the shutter button, I think this thing would uh, shoot photos until the battery runs out. So, how about sports camera now? Autofocus got a significant upgrade compared to previous model. Before it had 19 autofocus points and now it has even 65 of them. All the options of autofocus system would uh, need a separate video review of 15 to 20 minutes for me to show you what this camera can do, but trust me, it's one of the best autofocus on the autofocus systems on the market. This is a true professional sports and photojournalist camera. Low ISO is completely noise free and at high ISO you can shoot uh, up to ISO 3200, even 6400 is very good if you know what you're doing. Dynamic range and uh, level of details in images is not exactly on the level uh, from Nikon D7100, but uh, these are only minor differences. 7D Mark II also records video at Full HD resolution and now at 60 frames per second. You can also connect uh, external microphone and there is a socket for uh, headphones for audio monitoring. One detail I have to point out and uh, co it concerns video recording is dual pixel AF technology. We have seen it already in Canon 70D and it, it works really good. This camera has a very fast autofocus during video recording and only thing I found lacking is the lack of uh, touchscreen LCD which would be very helpful in video recording. Altogether I am under the impression that EOS 7D Mark II is one of the two best APS-C C-sized uh, sensor cameras on the market. This camera is really fantastic choice for shooting sports, photojournalists or shooting wildlife. Autofocus system and burst shooting at 10, fr at 10 frames per second and uh, unlimited, almost unlimited buffer are really nice things to have. Only detail I think it could have been a little bit better is the sensor. In my opinion Nikon D7100 still has a better sensor, it has 24 megapixels and it doesn't have anti-aliasing filter, which is very useful for taking landscape shots since images have a little bit more uh, details in them. That's pretty much everything from me to, for this review, subscribe to our channel over here, uh, follow us on Instagram and Twitter and also on Facebook and of course take a look at a detailed review of this very nice camera on GadgetCompare.com. Thanks for watching.